All right, guys, I'm fishing a new spot today. Uh, well, it's not a new spot. It's the first time I've, I've ever videoed it anyhow. Um, if you guys are local to the area, there's no secret where I'm at. As you can see behind me, there's Buckhorn Dam. So it's a pretty uh, well-fished part of the river, but haven't been out here since sometime, I think back in the mid-winter, I came out here a little bit, but I wasn't videoing then. So don't have any uh, video footage out here. So I thought I'd run out here this evening and just see how the uh, fish do. Uh, I fished this one area right here in the kayak before one time. Um, I only fished it for an hour or two. I think I caught maybe one or two little channel cats, but haven't had a lot of luck over here, but I've only done it once. So we'll see what happens. Um, fishing with all cut bait and well, I've got one live bait and the rest cut bait. Got bluegill and then uh, throw a sucker in the cooler as well, just, just for a little backup. But gonna see what happens out here tonight. Gonna fish until, I don't know, midnight or so. Gotta work tomorrow and I, I'm not planning on camping out, so it's just going to be a short little trip. See what happens, and uh, hopefully we'll get some fish here in a little bit. I do want to show you guys this. Check this out. When I was paddling over here, I, I ran over stuff with a line in the water. And I thought, look at that. Somebody done got a trap line running out across the river here. But I pulled on it, and this rod come popping up. It's got a, I can't tell what the rod is. I got to clean it up, but it's got a pin reel on here. I'm going to pull it apart and see if I can make it work but might have me a uh, free surf set up I think this is a I can't tell but I think it's a 12 foot rod so I might uh if I don't catch a fish at least uh, I won't be coming out of here empty handed all right guys first catfish of the night it's been a uh, slow bite I've been plagued with bowfin and gar all night long they've been stealing my bait and setting my clicker off and everything and uh, so far I haven't caught anything until this guy and uh, I just realized I didn't actually have my chest camera going so you're not gonna see me reel them in but either way I've caught a fish hopefully I catch uh, one or two more so I can put the video get together for you guys but called this one on a cut bluegill body section so uh, that's I've got I think I mentioned earlier everything's cut bait except for one live bait so that's what uh, he came on and uh, get him tossed on back and uh, bait back up. All right, let's see here if I can get this one recorded. Got another one on, guys. So I got catfish slime all over my hand, too. Make sure that's recording you. I didn't get the last one. Maybe we're getting into some. I was releasing my one I just caught and this one took off. get him in I'll have two fish and I'll at least have reeled one in on camera so I can uh, <laughs> I can put a short little video together from this trip oh look at there y'all well so much for that fish now go Lost my bait too. I guess that's something to, got something to laugh at. I reeled something in on camera anyhow. <laughs> oh me. I promise there was a fish on there. Well guys, I'm not sure what just happened. Oh, oh. Yeah, we got a fish on there. That line went slack. I guess it ran back to the shore with it. Let's see if we can get this one in without reeling up a stick. This one's actually on a uh, three-way rig. I don't usually fish that way, but I had it rigged up from the other night. So I said, you know what, I'll leave it on there. I'll throw this one out there and see what happens. And I Put a little old tiny piece of cut bait on there. And uh, it's been sitting out there for a pretty good little while. And look, we've done got us a little old baby flathead. 
How about that? A little baby flat on the three-way. All right, guys. Here's my uh, second fish. Got this one. I, I hope anyhow. <laughs> on camera, reeling them in. So first flathead. Definitely no uh, no monster, but uh, always welcome welcome sight to see a flathead. He uh, he came on cut bait as well. So I'm gonna toss him on back and a uh, and a bait back up. I'm gonna fish a little while longer though. They seem to be, uh, I don't want to jinx myself, but they seem to be starting to bite finally. So I want to hang out and see if maybe we can get one more fish before I go home. I'll see him on back then. All right. There's another fish. That's another one on the three way rig, too. Let's see if we can get this one in. Make sure we're recording. We are <laughs> paranoid now since I. Uh, Messed up the first fish. Let's see what this one is. It doesn't feel very big, but hey, it's another fish, so I ain't gonna complain. Almost makes me think we got another flathead on there, judging by the way it's staying down on the bottom. Let's see. Whoa, no, what do we got? Can't tell, it's still got a lot of spunk in it. Yeah, we got another flathead. Look at there. Flathead number two for tonight. All right, guys. Here's the second flathead. Felt like the first one I caught, but we're up to three fish now, at least. And uh, looks like I got this one on camera too, reeling it in. So. I've at least got a little video I can put together for this trip out here, so always happy to catch a flathead. He, uh, he was on a three-way rig and on cut bait, so second one on the same rod and also using cut bait. They haven't uh, touched the live bait tonight. Well, I think the, the gar or something touched the live bait because I had, I've lost one and had a couple hits on it just a while ago, actually, but I'm, I'm thinking it was the gar. But, They've uh, plaguing me all night long. But either way, glad to catch another fish. Toss him on back and uh, bait back up for a few more minutes. All right, guys, so a few key takeaways from tonight. One, don't do any shortcuts when it comes to the camera. I always have this camera that I'm talking to right now recording just in case my uh, chest mount fails or something. It, it doesn't pick up good audio, obviously, when I'm all the way back there, but at least I've got some live action if a, if I uh, hook up with a fish. Well, I decided I wasn't gonna mess with it tonight because I always use the chest mount because it does my audio and at night it just looks better on video. But So I, I didn't turn this camera on or anything and didn't plug up my battery pack to keep it running all night. So as you saw, um, I had a major fail and you didn't get to see my uh, first fish I caught. <clears throat> Second thing. If you bring your sonar, use it. I, I was lazy, once again, and I, I brought my fish finder, but I didn't actually uh, check the area, so I ran completely blind out here. Um, I tried to use some of the... As I was saying, uh, use the sonar. I tried to use the terrain just to kind of get an idea of what uh, to kind of cast for, but I ran completely blind out there in uh, the spots that I thought I was gonna hook up with fish. I, I didn't get anything in the spots that I had the least amount of faith in and ended up catching my fish out of. So uh, don't be lazy, especially if you have your fish time. Uh, that being said, I'm packing up now. Um, as you just saw, I had something take that one down but uh, I missed him and I'm also out of bait and it's late so packing up gonna take it to the house uh, overall it really wasn't that bad of a night I consider it a short trip I got a free fishing pole and a reel and uh, I caught a few fish so I'm not gonna complain too much I, I can at least put a video together and uh, I know y'all haven't seen it but my past uh, couple trips haven't been so good uh, I got skunked on one trip and I uh, only caught one fish on the other uh, the guy I went fishing with, he did very well, but my
my luck has uh, not been on my side. I, I was joking with my buddy Mitchell, uh, and he, uh, he's usually the uh, one that gets all the bad luck, and I told him I've done caught his bad luck, so I might need to bring him along to see if I can give it back to him. So, but either way, uh, glad I finally caught some fish. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button uh, if you're not doing so already. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button also, that way you'll be notified for any of my future videos that I post. Uh, if you're on social media, check out uh, Instagram, Rock Bottom Cats, and uh, Facebook, Rock Bottom Cats. Try to keep it updated uh, weekly. Um, and you can also reach out to me on there if you have questions or anything. Uh, another thing I mention every time is NC Catfishing. It's a Facebook group I started uh, almost a year ago now. Uh, we're at 2.8 thousand uh, members now at this point. So uh, if you're not on there, make sure you send a request to join. Uh, that way I can add you to that group. A lot of great guys, a lot of great information, uh, a lot of great photos shared on there so you can see what's being caught throughout the state. But either way, I appreciate everybody watching the video and I'll catch you guys next time. So it never fails. I go all night without getting hung up. And as I'm reeling in my stuff to pack up, I get my, uh, of all things, my three-way. Um, the three-way that I had to use, I didn't have any uh, light leaders for, so I used a 50-pound leader for my weight leader, which means it's, uh, it's hung pretty good. So. I'm going to go try to get that and save my weight and hook. It's going to be fun too because I don't know this area that well. And there's a lot of rocks and logs up there. So it might be an interesting ride. Now I can take it to the house as I try to navigate through all these rocks and trees between the islands over here.